Hi everyone, this is Nathan DeRico, director at Camp Northward. Wanted to give you a quick update as to the decisions that we have made and the changes that we have implemented since our last update. For May, we have decided to postpone our Senior Saints Day event, which was scheduled for May 14th. Instead, we are postponing that to November 5th. It's also a Thursday. The information is on our website. We have sent some flyers out to the churches. Uh, if you need any more information, please feel free to contact the office. Again, our Senior Saints Day event, which was scheduled for May 14th, has been postponed to Thursday, November 5th. Also for May, we have canceled our Spring Open House, which we have been having the last several years. For right now, we are still planning on having our junior faculty training at the end of May. So if you are in 10th grade through a graduating senior, and you would like to help out this summer and haven't been a part of that training so far, I encourage you to get online and register for that. We're gonna have a great time uh, that weekend. As for June and July, we are still planning on having most of our sessions and looking forward to getting everybody together. But we have had to make the difficult decision that we are going to postpone our special needs sessions. Both the adult and the youth session will be postponed until a weekend retreat sometime this fall. We're not sure of all the details yet, but we are not going to be having our special needs sessions during their normal time in the summer. Instead, we'll be postponing those until a weekend retreat sometime this fall. Recently, I was able to sit down and talk with Gary Knight. Gary is the Dean of our special needs adult session. And we were able to sit down and talk over a Zoom call and just talk about this summer and how we had to make this difficult decision to postpone our special needs sessions uh, to this fall. And I asked him if there was something that he would like to say to all of you who are affected by this decision. And here's what he had to say. Hang in there. And it's not done till God says it's done. Be prepared because we are going to have a weekend of camp and it's going to be a dandy. Guaranteed. I got big plans and um, we're going to get this out and we're going, we're going to have fun. We're going to learn more about God uh, in a weekend than what we could in a week. Yeah, I got, I got to thinking while you were talking, though, that maybe some of the campers wouldn't recognize you without your hat on. You yeah, know? I, I, <laughs> this was, I wouldn't be at work. I would. <laughs> so there's my hat. <laughs> <laughs> We believe that making the decision to postpone our special needs sessions is the best decision that we can make for the safety and welfare of the campers as well as the faculty and staff. As for the rest of the sessions this summer, we are hoping and praying uh, that those will be able to happen. Of course, we'll be looking to the recommendations of healthcare professionals and the government as we make that difficult decision as to whether or not we will have uh, those sessions. Even if we are able to have them, we recognize that they are probably going to look different than they have in the past. We don't know what restrictions and recommendations will be out at that time, but we anticipate that staying under the number of 50 people gathering together is going to be important. And for that reason, we are capping all of our sessions at 35 campers. And what that will do is allow us to have our campers, our faculty, and our staff and stay underneath of that number of 50. So as we go forward, we encourage you to register. We encourage you to pray that we will be able to meet this summer, but we encourage you to sign up quickly because those spots will fill up quick. Of course, we will have wait lists for our registrations. So if you uh, get online and you wanna register for a session, but it has been filled up, you will be able to be on a wait list. And Lord willing, if things continue to progress well throughout the next month or so, and we are able to open that number up to more than 35, we will certainly do that. And then you will be let in that session based on the number that we're allowed to let in. Before I close, let me say thank you. I've had the privilege to talk with a lot of people over the last several days, and many people have indicated that they are praying for us. And I know that there are a lot of you out there that I've not talked with who are praying for us. And we just want to say thank you. On behalf of myself and Valerie and the trustees, we are so grateful to be in this ministry with you. Thank you for your continued prayers. Thank you for your continued financial support. Thank you for being ready to volunteer this summer 
so that as we are able to get together, that we are able to have the people in place uh, to do that. Have a great rest of your day. Keep in mind that he who is in us is greater than he who is in the world. And we will be in touch in the next several weeks with another update from Camp Northward.